What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm giving my thoughts and predictions on Money in the Bank 2018. I'm really excited. As usual, I have all the match cards right in front of me, so let's just get right to my predictions. So, up first we have Daniel Bryan versus Big Cass. I've always been a fan of Daniel Bryan. I'm really happy he's back in ring, but I'm really happy that WWE is finally pushing Big Cass, especially in the single competition. I really think he'd be a universal champion down the line, maybe in a couple months. I think that'd be really interesting for this match. I honestly don't see it ending after this um, pay-per-view. I think the, uh, the rivalry is going to be continuing a little bit longer. But I think Daniel Bryan will win the rivalry in the end. So I think this match is going to go to Big Cass. I think that'd do a little bit well for his career going forward. If he can get a win on Daniel Bryan in this match out of pay-per-view, I think it'd be really amazing. So that is my prediction for this match. Up next, we have the Intercontinental Championship match. Seth Rollins trying to retain it against Elias. I'll be honest, I'm not really a fan of Elias. I do like some of the stuff he does in the ring, but I'm more of a fan of Seth Rollins, and that's who I think is going to win. I think Seth Rollins is going to retain the Intercontinental Championship. Hopefully, that is what happens, because I would love to see that. Up next, we have Bobby Lashley versus Sami Zayn. Honestly, I'm really happy that Bobby Lashley is finally back in the WWE, but I would really like to see him go against bigger guys. I think that is more his style. He, his strength would show way more, but... He's going against Sami Zayn. Honestly, I think Sami Zayn is going to get squished. I think in the match, Sami Zayn might push him back a little bit more. He might so, uh, show some shocking moments, some surprises, but I don't see Sami Zayn winning this match. I think Bobby Lashley is going to win. And months down the line, hopefully SummerSlam, that's my prediction right now, Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar, Universal Championship, WWE, make it happen. I really want to see that. But next up, we have the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. The Bludgeon Brothers versus Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. Honestly, I'd love to see the club win the championship because then AJ Styles and the club would have championships and I could see a reform of uh, the, the club with AJ Styles. I think that'd be really interesting to see. But honestly, I don't think it's their time. I think they are going to win the championship eventually. Just not yet. I do like that uh, Luke Harper is a champion. I'm not really sold on... Eric Rowan, I've never really been into Eric Rowan's uh, concept, his whole gimmick, but I do love um, Luke Harper, and I do love them together. I think the Bludgeon Brothers are going to retain. That is my official prediction. Moving on, we have Roman Reigns versus Jinder Mahal. I'll be honest, back about a year ago when Mahal was the WWE Champion, I was not a fan of that at all. I really wish he went for the United States Championship first. I think whenever he returned, he just had a really big push really fast. And then he kind of burnt out for a couple months until he became the United States Champion and started going for that title again. It'd be really interesting to see if he can win. Right now, I'm a fan of him in a way. Surprising enough, right now I'm a fan of Jinder Mahal. I do like Roman Reigns, I will be honest. But I think this match is going to go to Jinder Mahal. And Jinder Mahal might get a shot for the Intercontinental Championship in the near future. I think he would hold that title a lot better than a major title right now. I think he should work his way up to the Universal Championship. I think that'd be the route he should go. But that is my official prediction. Jinder Mahal is going to win this match. Next up, SmackDown Women's Championship match. Carmella trying to retain against Asuka. Honestly, I think Carmella might have some tricks up her sleeve. I think she's going to try something. I think that might be the only way she will win this match. But... I don't see it happening in the way that I would once think. So I'm going to say Asuka is going to win this match. Surprisingly enough, that is my prediction. I do love that Camarillo was the champion. I do love that she won the title. But I think that Asuka is going to win it. I think that would be great for her career. I wish Carmella could win it or hold it a little bit longer. But if she's going against Asuka, Asuka is going to win. That's my prediction right now. Next up, we have Nia Jax versus Ronda Rousey. I love that Ronda Rousey is in WWE. I kind of see WWE putting her in the role of the female Brock Lesnar. The only difference is she is going to be active. She's going to be weekly. And she's going to be doing a lot more appearance. It's not just going to be periodically. It's not going to be once in a while we'll see her. If she holds the championship, she's going to be defending it quite a bit. And that's something I think is going to be really impressive if WWE does have her like a female Brock Lesnar. In this match, Nia Jack is pretty big, but I want to say Ronda Rousey is going to win. It's Ronda Rousey. She gets a shot for a championship. 
in this match. She's probably going to win. That is my prediction right now. Next up, WWE Champion AJ Styles versus Nakamura. I'll be honest with you guys. The last two matches since WrestleMania, pay-per-view matches, I have lost in my predictions. I never got my predictions right because I was always predicting Nakamura because I would have loved to see him. Now that he's a hardcore heel in a way, honestly, I don't think AJ Styles is going to win this match because if Nakamura lost the last two, I think this time he's going to win the championship. I think that's the way it's going to be. I don't necessarily think it's going to be the end of the rivalry. I do think that uh, the rivalry will continue, but I think Nakamura is going to win the championship right now at Money in the Bank. That'd be really interesting. I'd be really happy to see that, him finally be the WWE champion. I would have liked to see him go for the United States Championship and hold that title before. Maybe whenever he got brought up from NXT, that'd be interesting if he went for that first. But it is an accomplishment if he does get it. And I think he will get the WWE Championship at Money in the Bank. That's my prediction right there. And then finally, two Money in the Bank matches at Money in the Bank, of course. We have, first up, I'm going to talk about the guys' Money in the Bank. So first, we have we have a 10-man Money in the Bank this year, which is something I wasn't really expecting, and I'm happy about it, but it is really going to be shopping, shocking, and hopefully they can pull together a really great match. But whenever there's a lot of guys, it could get a little bit confusing at times. But Smojo, Kevin, Owen, Kevin Owens, Bobby Roode, Braun Strowman, The Miz, Rusev, Finn Balor, and the three members of New Day, Kofi Kingston, Big E, and Xavier Woods. Honestly, I could see New Day. Hopefully, Kofi Kingston. If one of the new one of the New Day members win it, I'd like to see it. Kofi Kingston. I think it's something he could earn, and he would have. Uh, it'd be a huge accomplishment for him. He's been in the company for years, held many titles, and that's just something he never got to go for as a major title. I think it'd be really interesting if he won Money in the Bank. But New Day has a numbered advantage. There's three members in the match out of a ten man match. They have a numbers game right now. They could pull. But I don't think they're going to win. I would love to see The Miz win. That'd be really interesting. I know he won the Money in the Bank years ago, but now he's at the point in his career. I think he could do really well as a WWE champion, and I think he deserves a spot. He's a top-tier wrestler, in my opinion, and I think he could hold that position if he could win this uh, match. I think it'd be cool if Kevin Owens won it. I wouldn't be mad. If Bobby Roode won it. I wouldn't be mad. Honestly, I wouldn't be mad if anybody that is in this match won, and that usually doesn't happen with Money in the Bank. Usually there's a couple people I would not want to win the match, but this year, I'd be happy whoever won, but my prediction is, I think it's going to be a big guy. I'd love to see Rusev win it, honestly, but I think it's going to be Braun Strowman. I'm not really sold on if it is sold uh, if it is going to be Strowman, because in my opinion, I think he'd get a shot on his own for the Universal Championship, whether he held the Money in the Bank or not. So I think it should be somebody who it would be trickier for them to get a spot for the major title of their brands. Um, maybe somebody like Kevin Owens or Bobby Roode because they'd get it right away. Not saying that they don't deserve a spot for that championship, but they will down the line. But Strowman's somebody that will probably get a shot in the near future anyways. Once again, I think he's going to win this match, but I don't think he should. I think it should be somebody that would be... Uh, Harder for them to win the major title at this point right now. But that is my prediction. Strowman's going to win. I'm not a fan of it, but that is the prediction I'm giving right now. And last up, we have the women's Money in the Bank match. Sasha Banks, Naomi, Becky Lynch, Ember Moon, Charlotte, Alexa Bliss, Natalia, and Lana. Honestly, this is going to be an amazing match. I do like this match, but... There is some uh, of the superstars that I would not like to see win it. Charlotte, I'm not a fan of Charlotte. Becky Lynch, I'm a fan of, but I just don't see her winning this match. Uh, Lana, I really don't want Lana to win the match. Natalia would be an interesting pick. Of course, I do love picking the Canadians when I make my predictions, but Natalia, I don't see her being in the WWE much longer. Um, she's been around for years. I think she's going to be a future Hall of Famer as well, but my prediction... I think it's either going to be Ember Moon or Alexa Bliss. Ember Moon, because she's recently up from NXT. I could see WWE pushing her, having her win this, and then eventually winning the championship. I could see if Asuka wins the championship, she could uh, cash in on her. That would be something interesting. I know they're different brands. That's not going to happen, but that would be interesting to see. But 
I really want Alexa Bliss to win. I think that would just elevate her even more. She's held the SmackDown Women's Championship. She's held the Raw Women's Championship. I think it'd be, re be really awesome if she could win the Money in the Bank and say that she's held that as well. Something a lot of the females can't say they've done because they've only done it in recent years. And I do love what they're doing with the female wrestlers as well. But this is my predictions for Money in the Bank. Comment down below your predictions. Let me see if they are going to be right. Hopefully I can get a lot of these right because I love when that happens. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Like I said, comment down below. Let me know your predictions. Please leave a like if you guys do like this. And peace.